Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to add additional space to your vSnap storage for Spectrum Protect Plus that resides in the IBM cloud. Here you can see we currently have 576 gigabytes in our vSnap. So let me show you how to add additional space. So in the IBM cloud, this is the primary instance that we're working with that has Spectrum Protect Plus added as a service. You'll first go into the soft layer portal where we'll be purchasing additional endurance storage. Click on storage, file storage. Then click on order file storage in the right hand corner. Choose endurance storage type and then choose a location that is the same as the location that your primary instance is in. In our case, that's Washington 04. Next, choose whether you want monthly billing or hourly billing, and then choose the number of IOPS that you need. We chose two, and now you're gonna choose your storage size. We're gonna go ahead and choose one terabyte of storage. Go ahead and click continue. You can review the order pricing, and then go ahead and click place order. You'll see a verification that you had success ordering the storage and then it'll take a few minutes before the storage shows up in your list of storage. Once the storage is allocated you'll want to click on that storage and now you're going to scroll down until you see the authorized host section. Before we can authorize a host, we need to find out which subnet the hosts are on. So go back into your cluster, click on one of the hosts, and then if you go into configure, you'll want to find the NFS mount for your VM kernel adapters. So if we scroll down, you'll see that VMK3 happens to be the NFS mount. In this case, the IP address is 10.65.56.2. Back in SoftLayer, if I go into Networks, IP Management, and then into Subnets, I can sort by Portable Subnets or All Subnets, and then I want to scroll down until I find a matching subnet. And here I have that 10.65.56.0.26. Back in soft layer, I now want to click on Authorize Host, choose Subnets, and now from the drop down, you'll want to choose the Management Subnet, and you can do that by either scrolling through them or you can type in the subnet at the top gray bar here. Go ahead and click Submit. Now we should be able to see this in the Details section of the LUN. Also, if you scroll up in the file storage detail, you can find the host name of the storage device. From one of our cluster hosts, we're going to use that host name that we just got from SoftLayer to do an NS lookup. And we need to find the four addresses associated with it. So you might have to run the NS lookup multiple times. As you can see here, we got 216. Now we got the 217 address. And now after running the command multiple times again, we got the 218 and 215 addresses. So now that we have all four of those addresses, we need to go back into soft layer, click on the subnet, and find out the gateway for that specific subnet. So here we have the gateway associated with it. Now we're going to add routes to each of the hosts for each of the network addresses using the ES. XCLI network IP route command and then the information that we just found out about the gateway and about the IP addresses. You'll do this for all four addresses and if one of those addresses shows up as already added don't worry just keep going and add in the rest of the addresses. Once you've added them in, you can check that they all show up by using the ESXCI list command. And there's all four of them. We're now going to add in the NFS data store to this host. You can find the IP addresses from the host name of the storage device, and we just use those. And then the mount point can be found in the storage device page. Go 
ahead and issue the ESXCLI storage NFS add dash H with the host name dash V with the name that you want to give this storage and then dash S with the mount point. You now need to do this for the other hosts that are part of your cluster. As you can see here, we have host zero, host one, and host two. We've already issued the commands for host zero, so now we're going to issue the same commands for host one and host two. Once you've added all of those to the other two hosts, we're now going to go into Spectrum Protect Plus and add the NFS data store to the Spectrum Protect Plus VM. So from the vSphere web client, go into storage, click on the new storage that you just added, go to hosts, verify that all three hosts show up as attached to that new storage. And now we're going to go back into the VMs. We're going to select the Spectrum Protect Plus VM, and then we're going to right click and cl hit edit settings. And here you want to do new device, new hard disk. Click on add. Click on the location button and choose browse. You're going to choose the new expansion from the list. We called it extra storage and click OK. Choose the new hard disk size and then click on OK. You'll see the VM task reconfiguring the virtual machine and adding this disk in. Once that's completed, we then want to go into the Spectrum Protect Plus console. From the IBM Cloud primary instance, you'll want to click on Services, then click on IBM Spectrum Protect Plus View Details, and now click on View IBM Spectrum Protect Plus console. Log in with your IBM Spectrum Protect Plus admin and password. Click on Backup Storage. Click on Actions and then Rescan. Once the rescan is complete, click OK. And now you're going to click on the little hammer and wrench icon over by the host IP name. Select Add Disks to Backup Storage. You'll see our new disk that we've just added to the SPP VM image. However, if you notice, the size is only one gigabyte and we actually allocated one terabyte. So we need to do some troubleshooting as to why it's only showing up as one gigabyte. So let's go back and look at the SPP VM image. Let's look at the edit settings. Click on manage other disks and you'll see this hard drive 7 that we added and it's only showing up as one gigabyte but we meant it to be one terabyte as you can see the maximum size is one terabyte so we're going to go ahead and change the size on that from one gigabyte to one terabyte and click close click ok and you'll see the reconfiguring virtual machine task running once that's complete Let's go back into the Spectrum Protect Plus console, issue an action rescan, let the Spectrum Protect Plus rescan for new disks. Once the scan is complete, re-click on the hammer and wrench icon, and now under add new disk to backup storage, you will see the one terabyte size disk. Check the box to select that disk, and then click save. Back on the dashboard screen, you'll now see our total capacity is one and a half terabytes. So in summary, I've showed you how to add additional vSNAP storage to your Spectrum Protect Plus instant that resides on the IBM Cloud. Thank you very much.